Hi everyone, this is Nate with People Fit Health and Fitness, and this is Total Body Toning. Always consult with a physician before starting an exercise program. Uh, we're going to do three standing exercises. First standing exercise, we're going to do a squat hold. So if you would like, you can hold weights for this. If you are going to hold weights, keep them really close to your shoulders the whole time. Okay? I'm not going to use weights, but feel free to do it if you want to. We're going to take that wide stance. We're going to come in a squat. We're going to hold it for two to three seconds. I'll count each one. And then we're going to come up to a stance. Okay? So, get in a good stance. Eyes up, chest up. Here we go. Squat. Hold it. Three, two, one. And we're back up. Keep a nice flat back. Eyes up, chest up. Here we go. Three, two, one. And we're back up. Again. Three, two, one. One, back up, three, two, one, again, three more, one, two, three, back up, two more, one, two, three, last one, one, two, three, and we're up. All right, let's grab a single weight for the next exercise. You can use, I'm not going to use this stool, but you guys can use your front leg. We're going to go left hand on the left leg, so the weight's on the right side. Two-part exercise. You can always put your hand on anything around you if you want to also. Good for you. We're going to do a pull up, bring the arm down, so we're going to do a straight arm pull back. We're going to pull up, pull back. Pull up, pull back. Okay, so let's go right hand, good forward lean, keep that flat back. And here we go. We're going to pull up, let the weight down all the way, keep the arm straight, pull back nice and slow. Pull it up, arm down, pull back slow. Pull it up, nice and slow. Try to keep that back nice and flat. We got one more. Good. We're going to stand up. We're going to change hands. Same deal. Here we go. Opposite side. Forward lean. Flat back. Pull up. Straight arm. Pull back. Pull up. Pull back. We got one more to go, one more up, one more back. Good. All right. Stand up tall, grab a matching weight. If you have a different set of weight, you want to go as light as you can on this one. Two parts. We're going to go alternating front shoulder raise, alternating, alternating, then we're going out to the side. So we're going to go alternate. Alternate and to the side. Okay, so grab your weight, give yourself a good base with your feet. We'll go in three, two, one. We're going to start alternating to the front. Keep your core tight, don't lean back. And then we're going to go out to the side. So alternate, alternate, side. We're going to go two more. So there's one, 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 two, two, two. All right, you can place your weights down unless you want to hold on to them for your squat holds. Squat holds, you're going to take that wide stance, keep the eyes up, chest up. We're going to keep the knees back. All right, so this is where you're going to squat. We're going to hold it for three seconds, and then we're going to come back to a stand. Okay, so we'll go in five, four, three, two, 
One, here we go. Squat, hold it. Three, two, one, back up. Again, three, two, one. Down again, three, two, one. Make sure all your weight's in your heels, not your toes. Again, three, two, one, back up. Again, three, two, one. We have two more to go. Come down, three, two, one, back up. Last one, three, two, one, and we're up. Let's grab one single weight. All right, you can use your leg. You can use anything around you. We just want that forward knee. All right, so just quick refresher, pull up, straight arm, pull back, okay? So why don't we go in three, two, one. We'll go right arm first. Here we go, left arm out in front, pulling up, bring it down, pulling back, pulling up. Keep that rhythm. One more of each. All right, I'm going to stand up. We're going to change hands. Same deal. Good for me. Flat back. Here we go. Pull up. Pull back. We got one more. Here we go. Pull up. Pull back. Okay, let's grab our other weight. Alternating front shoulder raise and a side shoulder raise. If you got a shoulder injury, you might want to skip the side shoulder raise. The part that goes to the outside, we'll just do alternating to the front. You're good to go. We'll do alternating, alternating to the side. Here we go. One to the front. Other to the front. Out to the side. Front. Front. Always just keep it below shoulder height. Make sure you're not going above your shoulder height. That's when almost all risk of shoulder injuries happen. All right, we got one more of each. Here we go. One, one, one. Good. All right, lose the weights. Coming back through for a third time through. We're going to do our squat holds. Okay? So, eyes up, chest up. We're going to come down, hold it for three seconds. We'll come back up. All right? So, here we go. Let's go down for our first. Three, two, one. Back up. Again. Three, two, one. Back up. Again, three, two, one, we're up. Again, three, two, one, back up. Three to go. Down again, three, two, one, back up. Again, three, two, one. Last one, three, two, one, come to a stand. 
All right, we have our back neck, so we're going to do our bent over row and our straight arm pull back for our back. So let's go with the right hand with the weight. We'll go left arm out in front. You can put it on anything or your leg. Take a good forward knee, flat back. And let's do our third round. Here we go. Pull up, bring it down, pull back. One more up, one more back. Come to a stand. We're gonna go with the other arm. Here we go, good forward lean. And here we go, pull up, pull back. Stand up tall, grab our matching weight. Okay, we have alternating front shoulder raise and a side shoulder raise. Good wide base. And here we go, we'll start it up, relax the shoulders, raise to the front, raise to the front, go to the side. Again, skip the side part if you've got a shoulder injury you're concerned about. Good, let's pull those 
screen thing, you can place those down to a side. The other two exercises we're doing in this series are going to be core exercises. So, the first one we're going to do is a three angle crunch. So, basically, we're going to take the hand, place in the fingertips to the side of the head. We're going to crunch up to a side, come all the way down, crunch up to the middle, come all the way down, go to the other side, all the way down, back to the middle, back to the left. And we're going to keep that rotation, okay? So, try to keep your eyes up as you can. You don't have to get your shoulder blades very high off the ground. And we're going three, two, one. You have three angles to a side, all the way down, up the middle, all the way down, off to the other side, all the way down, back to the middle, all the way down. Okay, make sure you're not pulling on the back of your neck, your hands are to the side of your head.
Ten seconds. Last one. Good. Come on down. Let's relax the head for a second. The next one up is a bicycle crunch. So, bicycle crunch. Take your hands to the side of your head. Bring your elbows up nice and wide. Pull your legs up. You're going to go opposite elbow, opposite knee. You're going to go back and forth. Okay? That one you can go at a quicker pace if you want to. It doesn't have to be fast. You can go at whatever pace you like, but you can't go a little quicker if you feel up to it. All right, let's go in five, four, three, two, one. Go ahead. Opposite elbow, opposite knee. Long strides. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and relax. Relax the head, relax the body, take a few seconds. Take about 15 seconds before we begin the next one. So you can start grabbing your weight. Lying your back. Again, you have alternating chest fly or alternating chest press. Chest press is up and down, fly is out wide. Okay, chest press is easier on the shoulder, just to give you a heads up. All right, so we're going about five seconds, four, three, let's start straight up in the air. Here we go. Make sure your pace is slow. Fifteen seconds to go. Here we go, one more for each arm. Good, bring the weights in, you can place those off to a side. We have our two core exercises left. We have our three angle crunch and then our bicycle crunch. So, for three angle crunch, you're going to place the hands on the side of the head. Do not pull in the back of your head and hurt your neck. Okay, so we have three angles. We're going five, four, three, two, one. Take a side, come down, go up the middle, come down, off to the other side. Seconds. Two more crunches. Last one. Good. Bring it down. We got one more exercise to go. That's our bicycle crunch. Bicycle crunch. Same idea. Bring your fingertips to the side of the head so the elbows come out wide. You're going to go opposite knee, opposite elbow. Try to have a nice long stride, and we'll go in five, four, three, two, one. Go ahead. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, 
three, two, one. Good. All right, you're all done. Good class, everybody. Thanks for coming. Have a good one.